Hello my friends, today I will teach you how to create the Harris shutter effect, which is this one over here. How do we create this? We'll make this picture and we'll also make this image. So I will delete the effect and let's start from the beginning. As you can see, I have three images of a lady over here and the first thing we have to do is extract her from the background. To do so, I will go to my object selection tool and just click select subject. Now, the better of a selection you make, the better it will look. But for me, I will just make a really quick selection. So you see Photoshop already picked the subject. I'll go to select and mask. And now we did this refined brush over here. I will just run it along the hairline. And like I said, this is just going to be about how to create the effect. So I'm not going to focus too much on my selection. So let's see, go around here for a little bit, just around this hair, and we'll pretend that's good enough. And then over here on the right side, I will go to new layer with new layer max mask, and I will save it. Great, that's our first layer. Let's move, I'm going to turn it off for now, let's move into the second layer. We'll do the same thing, select the layer, go to select subject, and select and mask. And here with the refined brush, I'm just going to go around the face a little bit and maybe around the hand too in here and on this side. And we'll say that's good enough. Maybe along the hair too a little bit. There we go. And then the same thing, I'll put in a new layer with layer mask. There we go. I'll turn that off. We'll go to our last image and we'll repeat the same steps. Select subject. Select and mask and use our refine brush to fix the hair a little bit. And we'll say that's good enough. And then go to layer with layer mask. There we go. So we have our three images. One, two and three. Now we have to work on our composition. Let's see how do we want to arrange these images. Well, this one, because she's looking inwards, I'll put it on the left. This one, let's see, I'll put this one on the right. And maybe this one, I'll put it in the middle. I think I want a flipper to look the other way. So I will go to Command T to transform tool and then right click on it and go flip horizontal. There you go. Now she's looking the other way. So I will go to something like this. Maybe I'll make it smaller. There we go like that. And uh, that looks good to me, at least good enough. And I'll say OK. Now let's go into creating the Harris effect. Another thing I need to do is make a white background underneath. And for that, I'll go to solid color and make sure I pick white. It was already on white, but if it's not, make sure you do that. As you can see, our selection was not good at all. We have a lot of color spill, but that's okay because you won't see it in the effect. So let's start with our first layer. Click on your layer and then double click on the gray part of your layer to open up the layer style dialog. You can also do this just by right clicking on your layer and go to blending options. And here you have your three channels, red, green, and blue. So for the first image, I will leave the red marked, but I'll turn off the green and the blue. Just like that. Click OK. For the second layer with the mask, I will double click on it. And this time I will turn off the red and the blue and I'll just leave the green. Great. And then for the third layer, double click on it. And I'll turn off the red and the green and I'll just leave the blue. Say OK. Now, compositionally, I think I like the yellow to be in the middle, so I'm just going to flip these two. So let's see. I want this one to be the green, not the blue. And then here, I want it to be the blue, not the green. There you go. I think that looks better with the yellow in the middle. Click OK. Now, this one, I need to reposition it and move it lower a little bit. Something like that. And then now we can also work with opacity. So if I go to the first layer and reduce the opacity a little bit, let's see, 
but it will look good. Something maybe around 80. The second layer, I'll reduce the opacity, something like that. And then the third layer, also around 80. And I think that looks better. And this is how you create the hairy shutter effect. Let me show you one more example. Over here, we just have some smoke images. Let me turn off the effect. And here we do not need to select the smoke. This is just very, very simple. We can just double click on the image and do the same thing. Unclick the G and B and leave the red one for that one. You can see now it's just red. Now go to the second layer, double click on your blending style. And this time we'll turn off the red and the blue and we'll just leave the green. And then for the third layer, double click on it and we'll turn off the red and the green and we'll leave the blue. And just like that, we created the hairy style effect. Then of course, you will right click on the image and flatten it. And that is a really cool effect. So there you go. Those are our two images. I hope you learned something new. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Skylar Ewing and I'll see you in my next video.